एवरीवन होप यू ऑल डूइंग वेल सो वेलकम टू माय चैनल कोड इन लाइट सो इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ गेम कॉल्ड पिंक कॉन गेम यूजिंग कोडिंग सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट मी गो टू स्क्रैच डॉट एम आई डी डॉट ई डी यू नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट सो इफ यू न्यू टू स्क्रैच प्लीज डू चेक आउट माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हैव टॉट हाउ टू रजिस्टर एन अकाउंट इन स्क्रैच सो नाउ टूडे वी गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए पिंग पॉन्ग गेम सो आई एम गोइंग टू नेम दिस प्रोजेक्ट एज पिंग पॉन्ग गेम सो इट इज अ गेम टूडे सो प्रीवियस टू वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएट अ स्टोरी सो वी मस्ट बी हैविंग सम आइडिया अबाउट फ्यू ब्लॉग्स एटलीस्ट लाइक गो टू एक्स एंड वाई पोजिशन ऑल दिस so now we are all set to create a simple game now so i'm going to click on delete i'm going to click on delete to delete this sprite i'm going to choose a backdrop from here and i will choose one backdrop from here let's say i'm going to choose neon tunnel and i'm going to create two backdrops so i have a, a backdrop here so i'm going to change this name to u1 screen I'm going to click on this to change the background color. So I'm going to keep it a little bit dark background. Convert it to bitmap. Click on this to fill. And now again we have to convert it to vector. And now I'm going to click on the text to write the text. I'm going to keep it white in color. U one. So I'm going to keep this text pixel uh, as that looks like you know we're playing a game because most of the video games I have seen this kind of font, so it looks pretty good. Now again the same way we have to create another one. So I'm going to click on this uh, backdrop option. You just not you don't have to click on it. You have to place the cursor and choose paint from here. Now name this as you lost screen now i'm going to click on this to choose a color and i'll click on fill you have to click on convert to bitmap here so i'll click on convert to bitmap fill the color go back to vector and now i'm going to click on text to write the text here I haven't chosen the color of the text. I'll keep it white. So now I'm going to type "you lost." You lost. So when you come out of it, you can you know extend it. You insta if you don't uh, get this um, expand option, you can click on the select option here and click on this to select and expand this. Right. So now I'll do the coding for the backdrop. So when I click on the green flag, I want the backdrop to be the neon tunnel. So I'll type, I'll add switch backdrop to neon tunnel. So now I'm going to add the sprite from here. So first I'm going to choose a paddle and then a line. Let me type line here. So this is the red line. What we are going to place? Uh, it is a sprite. If the ball touches this um, red line, it, it your, the user is going to get less. Uh, I mean, he is going to get minus points. So I've increased the size of the line also and placed it properly. Or I'm going to place the paddle here, and then I'm going to add a ball and ball e. So we have a lot of costumes of the ball, so you can pick any costume of your choice. So now I have a ball here, and I'm going to uh, keep it ten. Ten is too small, so I'll keep it fifty. So fifty fifty looks good. So now after this, we have to do the coding for every sprite over here. So now I'm going to add when green flag clicked. it has to show up on the screen on the stage here and it has to go to x and y position that i have provided 
and it has to point in direction 90 because if the paddle is direction directing in other direction then it is not going to work properly so i'm going to keep it 90 for now okay and then we're going to create something called as a variable let me delete this now make a variable called score and click on ok score is something uh, which is going to uh, you know store uh, your score means it is going to store some information so now we're going to add some codes where uh, you know the paddle we have to move the paddle sometimes right uh, we need to have a paddle which moves left and right so we will be doing the coding part for that as well as one more coding part we're going to add when green flag is clicked it has to set the score to zero and i'm going to add if then else statement so here what should happen if the score is greater than i'm going to add if the score is greater than greater than operator from operators drag the score attach it here if the score is greater than 20 then it has to send a message go to events it has to send an image saying you won in the same way if it is uh, we have to add if it is lesser than else if if the score is lesser than 20 Or you can also add lesser than zero means if there is minus points you can add that or you can add minus 20 broadcast a message you lost so it is going to send the messages okay so for this now we're going to do the coding here when green flag is clicked it has to show up it has to go to the x and y position that we have provided and it has to always point in direction 90 as well now also we have one more set of coding when i receive u1 it has to hide and when it receives you lost it has to hide for both of them it has to hide and uh, here we'll do the coding a little bit of coding is left out when green flag is clicked it is going to show and go to x and y position and point in direction 90 correct now we're going to add forever we have something called as set x2 so set x2 mouse x means this has some function where it is going to help you move the paddle see you can move the paddle now okay now we'll go back oh yeah this one we have to even add it for paddle also so i'm just dragging and dropping you can also open the backpack add it inside the backpack this way and you go to the other sprite and drag and drop it back but i feel that um, you know just dragging and dropping is fine here it is fine that we are going to just drag and drop drop it to in, inside the other sprite now ball the ball coding before that when i receive you lost also right i'll see in a blocks so i'm going to add when green flag is clicked it has to show up so when you add hide in any of this sprite then it has to also have show when it has to show we have to specify it now i want to switch the costume to ball e i think the ball costume is c ball c and i want it to go to random positions it has to keep moving but before that i want the set size to be 50 percent and it has to keep moving into go random positions so i'm going to add forever you 
you can also add next costume so it can you know keep changing the costume and can keep going to random position it has to keep going to random position in between it can uh, wait for uh, something around very few seconds 0.2 seconds or 0.5 seconds even if you don't want to add go to random position like let's see it is just moving it's not really uh, no looking like that so i just i'm just going to add one more block which is move move 10 steps and if it is on the edge it has to uh, block it from going out of the stage here so now we'll, we'll check that how it looks so it is in the same position here though i have given the um, move 10 steps so we're going to do the rest of the coding uh, first before uh, completing this i would like to add the backdrop coding here when sorry when i receive you lost it has to switch the backdrop to you lost screen and in the same way i'll duplicate this when i receive you one it has to switch the backdrop to you one screen when I click on the green flag, it is changing it and it is moving there only. It is not going to any other position. It is changing the colors. Everything is right. So now we need to know how it has to, how you can get, uh, get the score, get more score. So now I'm going to show you the coding for that. So the ball, it should keep moving. It should keep moving. It, let me add move. Instead of move 10 steps, I'm going to add move 15 steps. And if it is on the edge, it has to bounce. Means it has to come inside again. It has to come back to the um uh, come back to the screen means the stage over here so inside this i'm going to add one more statement which is if state if then else statement so it has if the, if it is touching the line then it has to change score by one no sorry minus one okay and in the same way you can add else if then if it is touching the paddle then it has to change score by one means increase the score so now we'll check that how it will keep moving it keeps moving here only so we need to make more changes to this so here it is the ball is not moving why because we have added by 0.5 seconds i feel that that is not necessary so i'll just remove this and also i'm just going to add next costume and so here we didn't add go to x and y position so wherever it want it can go there and it has to point in direction uh, it's a 45 degrees so here we are all set to run the game now we'll check so i'm going to click on this uh, full screen control and i click on the green flag so you can see the ball is moving 